Hello there, and thank you for joining me. My name is Katie Burrows, and I am here today to give you my application instructions for your Jamberry nail wraps. So to start, I have nice clean hands I just washed, and I'm going to, I don't have anything on my fingernails. Um, I've already cut and filed down a little bit for a nice even nail bed. And my first step from here then is gonna to be to take a cuticle pusher and push back those cuticles. So I'm gonna work through each of my nails and push back that layer of skin. We're not cutting the cuticles. Uh, we actually need those to help us fight infection and other things with our nails, fungal infection, all those things. So we want our cuticles, don't cut those off. Uh, there is a little thin layer of skin that we call the invisible cuticle and that we wanna push back as well. So if you're having a little bit of resistance there, you might have to push with the cuticle pusher and then go back with a buffer and buff that off a little bit, nice and gently, uh, to make sure that that is not on there because that will prevent a nice and clean and easy wrap application. So I've got all of my cuticles pushed back and now I'm gonna go through and buff. Sorry you can't see my little station here, I'm working on my computer, so you're gonna have face view versus hand view, but yes, nice and easy on each nail. I'm just gonna go through and buff. I have a little bit of a ridge line in each of my nails, so I wanna try to nice and easily even that out for myself. Okay, so now I've buffed through and my cuticles are pushed back. Now I've been taking care of that invisible cuticle for quite a while now, so that one is not so bad for me, but if you're still seeing any dead skin between your nail and your cuticle, you're gonna to wanna to take a couple of times to, to remove that nice and safely and easily. So from here, I'm gonna cleanse my nail bed. So we have with Jamberry a little wrap here, an alcohol wipe that will sterilize the nail bed. Uh, you can use rubbing alcohol. That's gonna be a little bit more intense on your nails and of course those cuticles, it's tough to keep those moisturized this time of year, um, but that will work as efficiently. So I'm just wiping my nails down to keep those nice and clean. And from here, maybe I've given you a sample to try, which would be one nail wrap like this. And this one is actually going to fit my, sorry, there it is. This one's actually going to fit my pinky finger. So, and I know that because the backing on this is clear and I can size that, where am I? There I am, for each nail to see with that clear backing which fits best. So if I had a full sheet of nail wraps, right, I would have one mani-pedi here and one mani-pedi there, uh, I can size through each individual finger and see with the backing on that which fits best. Okay, so from there, I'm gonna take my nail wrap, and I'm gonna use a scissor, so I have my little manicure scissor here. If you have a pair of scissors at home, those will work just as well. And I'm gonna trim that longer than my nail in order to file that down and get a nice application. So I've cut that. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of heat. So I have my Jamberry mini heater here, yes. Uh, you can also use a hair dryer with the Jamberry Mini Heater, you're gonna have an even heating temperature. You're gonna need about five seconds there. So the benefit of this heater is that it's nice and small, easy to carry around, and we just need five seconds there. Okay, so I've heated that. It curls just a little bit at the ends. That's how I know it's nice and warm. That's gonna activate that adhesive. Now to apply, I'm gonna take that from my nail bed pretty small, but I'm going to take that from my nail bed and I'm going to smooth upward to the tip of my finger and then I'm going to smooth the corners across. Okay, so now I have my nail wrap on, but I have way more on the edge than I need and that's on purpose. I'm going to take my nail file from here and I'm in a downward motion going to remove the excess. So not vigorous, Don't no need to go crazy on the nail filing, we're just trying to remove that excess wrap. So if it's a little bit stubborn, you can always use your scissors to trim that up. So there in just a couple of strokes, I've removed the extra. Now I have 
a really even application on that to ensure that that's nice and secure. I'm going to reheat that for just a few seconds on my finger and I'm going to smooth in the same way I applied from the base of my cuticle to the tip of my nail and my finger and then the corners as well. So we want to make sure in that application that there's no lifting of the corners, that there's no extra hanging off the edge because that will catch and take that nail wrap off. If we've got a really nice application, meaning there's no extra corners hanging off, that should last us up to two weeks with that application. So I could go through and apply the rest of my manicure for the sake of keeping this brief. I will not do that on video, uh, but that's the way we would continue to progress through. Once we've completed our Jamberry manicure with our nail wraps, we're gonna moisturize the cuticles. We have our cuticle oil, and we also have the indulgence hand line, or uh, my very favorite in that hand line for the indulgence care is the Nourish Moisturizing Hand Cream, which has a uh, biotin infused and we're looking at uh, quite a bit of shea butter in that. So that's really good to keep your hands moisturized. So we wanna keep those nail beds nice and healthy with the moisturization. Um, for removal process, if you had your nail wraps on, I'm gonna encourage the gentle removal process. We're gonna use nail polish remover. I'm gonna pour that into the cap, leaving a little bit of extra room. And to remove a nail wrap, so I've just poured some in the cap here. I'm gonna get a nice even surface. If you are on a beautiful varnished dining room table or a hardwood floor or any type of vinyl cushion, something that could stain or you know you wanna be nice and careful with your nail polish remover. I have had more than a couple spills with this on my poor little Ikea dining room table. With this removal process and the gentle end here, we're gonna soak that entire nail in our cap. So 20 seconds in order to remove that adhesive. So we're going to wait the full 20. Uh, from there, we're going to take a nail on the opposite hand and slide underneath that nail wrap, again, from the base of the cuticle towards the tip. So we're going to soak that as many times as we need to nice and gently remove that nail wrap. Uh, would, we would do that for, of course, every nail wrap we want to remove. Another option for removal is to use a bowl of warm water and you would soak the hand. And as we're removing, probably gonna wanna soak it for a couple of minutes in that warm water. Uh, you're gonna remove underneath the liquid. You could do the same thing with an olive oil, which would be a really nice moisturization treatment as well. I love removing with olive oil, for the record. Um, and the same thing, you would leave the entire hand soaked um, and you would remove underneath the surface of the oil or the water for a nice gentle removal. From there, if you have any questions or any troubleshooting, something you're running across, please contact me. I'm happy to help. Uh, my phone number is 312-203-9942, and my email address is E as in elephant, Y as in yellow, S as in Sam, dancer at yahoo.com. I'm happy to answer any questions, and I'm looking forward to seeing some photos of your wrap, so please feel free to share, and enjoy your beautiful Jamberry manicure.